Hello everyone, Rich Rising. Welcome back to Spiritual Lux Oracle. Thank you for your likes, your comments, and your subscribes. If you are divine, you are fine. You are welcome here. I speak only to your higher self. You got somebody who is no longer wanting to deny the love that they have for you. They they no longer want to, but they it, they can't. Okay, we have intensity here. Okay, you can expect this person to apologize to you or even if they don't apologize, they are feeling remorseful for pushing you away in some sense, okay? Um, so yogurt could be significant. You could be eating yogurt for breakfast. Healing, yes. Learning, expectations, sleepless. Okay, you meet all this person's expectations, but you also didn't come as expected. Like, this person had a vision in their head or just an idea of what their relationship would be or how it would go, how y'all would meet, what type of person you would be like. And you are completely not that, okay? You cause this person to have sleepless nights, okay? This person knows that they need to heal some type of childhood wounds, okay? Somebody could have just graduated from college or went back to school, okay? Something this person could be experiencing anxiety at this time because they know you have high expectations. Okay, they are learning. Um, they're they're mastering self love right now, and they're mastering how to you know be a better partner. Okay. I miss you, okay? And it came out in reverse. But look, at the bottom of the deck is an illusion. So this person has been acting nonchalant, cold, distant, okay? All of that is an illusion. They are swarmed by the thought of you, okay? It actually overwhelms and overpowers them. So it causes them to put up this illusion, put up this front to maintain some type of sense of control or sense of power, okay? Because this person feels like you hold, you know, the, the scales are tipping when it comes to um, the power that you hold over their heart, over their head space, okay? This person is all in their head when it comes to you, okay? I feel like as soon as this person gets off work, they want to call you, okay? They want to chat. They want to know where you are, what you're doing, what you're up to, okay? Yeah, we have blessed. This person feels like you live a very blessed life, a very easy life, okay? You don't want for anything. This person could also want to maintain this energy in your life, okay? They want to make it easy for you. They want you to live a blessed, easy life, okay? They want to contribute to your endeavors, okay? <laughs> Um, when I woke up, I kept hearing the song or I kept hearing the part in the song. Um, it's a Nikki song. I forget. It's off the new album. Take me on to somewhere mystical. Okay. I just kept hearing, take me somewhere mystical. Okay. So I feel like your love takes this person somewhere mystical. Like in your energy, they get this exhilarating feeling. They get this like, you know, like this, this this ecstatic feeling it's it's almost like ecstasy okay i feel like you're you can get pregnant by this person very soon okay for some of you if not you're just going to be celebrating a milestone or celebrating something big a holiday okay i'm seeing um champagne bottles okay this is going to be a new beginning though yeah intensity i don't think you're prepared for how intense this connection is going to be or how um, much this person is going to show you they love you how intense this love is going to be okay this person could want to take you on vacation too okay we have faith so this person is having faith that one day you will be theirs you will be in their arms okay sleepless wow I feel like this person can't even sleep at night, okay, unless y'all are on good terms or unless, um, you know, they get some cutty before, you know, before bed. 
this person feels like this is a galactic connection. Like this, this, this love is in the stars, honey. Yeah, they're feeling lucky at this time. This person could want you to have a daughter. Yeah, our love is real. Y'all's love is real. Even though it's mystical, even though it's it's magnetic, even though it's like magical and just outer worldly. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Even though it's outer worldly, it's very much real in the 3D. It just crosses on every plane, okay? Every realm, this person loves you. So it's like... It just hits different. It's a different type of love. Okay. You can find deep you can find connections with other people. Okay. High level soulmates and stuff like that. But this type of love is different. Yoga Nidra here. So somebody could um benefit from that practice. Yoga Nidra. Deep meditation. We have transparency. This person is about to become transparent about how they feel about you. They have a scared inner child wound here. Okay, yeah, they definitely have an inner child wound. A bear could be significant. Passion. This person could have been raised off survival. I feel like at, at one point, all this person knew was lust when it came to relationships. I feel like nobody really taught them how to be in a relationship or anything about relationships in general. Yeah, the signs. Okay, I feel like this person is being taught by the divine. They're receiving signs, synchronicities. Okay, they know what path they want to take. They know what path they want to take. Yeah, learning, promise. This person could get you some type of promise ring. Okay. I feel like they've made a promise to themselves, though, to get better, to do better, to be better. Yeah. Get out of this scared energy. Okay. Fear is the lowest frequency on earth, honey. Okay. If you live in fear, if you live in survival, chances are you got, you know, entities on you because that's exactly how they attach to you when you're in such a low frequency. Okay. You have to walk with faith so that you know that you cannot be touched. Okay. There's no point of walking in fear when you believe in God. How do you believe in God if you're not believing in God? Okay. Somebody is realizing this, learning this, awakening to this. Okay. I was just telling somebody um, how now that I've moved to Mexico, it's fun, but it's dangerous. Like, I don't leave the house without praying. I don't leave the house without praying because whew, rest in heaven, there was a 12-year-old boy that just got shot on the jet ski get, in, in crossfire. Okay, in Cancun. So, yeah. Divine timing. This person is feeling like, I feel like they look up, they see all of the evil in the world. They see all of the, the mishaps. They see all of the cheating, the scandals, the the illusions, the disillusions, the, the out of love. And then they get all these signs about this love. This twin flame sign card just came out, okay? Look for the signs for our connection. As your twin flame, I mirror what you're going through, okay? Or it's like they just they just keep realizing that y'all are more alike than they like to, you know. I feel like something about this connection is antique, okay? Like it's time capsule. Like this is a path like love, Okay. Somebody could have even passed as a kid. This could have been like a childhood love. And in the past life, this person could have passed as a child. Okay, water sports could be significant. Water sports could be significant. Thinking. Yeah, they're, these signs, okay, they're in their face. This is not a sign that's like, mm, is it a sign? Maybe it's not. No, this is a sign that's like, whoa, what the freak? Okay, and it has them up in their head thinking about you. Okay. Could have to do with fire or... So it could be smelling you out of nowhere. Yeah, expectation. 
I want to be all that you want me to be. I don't want to disappoint you. That could have been why this person pushed you away too. They didn't want to be a disappointment. It felt like they were better in their little their little bubble of mess. Okay. <laughs> This person could want to have fun with you. Yeah, we have forgiven healing. So if there was some type of separation, some type of blowout, blow up, person is wanting you to forgive them or vice versa. They're working on forgiving you. Okay. Healing. Okay. Healing up. Yeah, karmic battles. Okay, closing out karmic battles. Healing up karmic wounds. Okay, passion. I feel like the next time y'all are intimate, it's going to be powerful here. The next time y'all are intimate, it's going to be powerful. Follow your bliss. Yes, honey. Yes. This person is following. Okay. Following their bliss means coming to you. Yeah. And opening up. <laughs> They're getting inspired to do these things. Yep. I'm getting ready to saw what or say what's in my heart. I know that this is love. It's true. Unconditional and everlasting kind of love. I want you to know I am trying to open up, but it's so hard for me to put my feelings for you into words. But I know I have to do this and you need to hear them. This person is knowing that they cannot chicken out anymore. Okay. They know they can't chicken out anymore. They're about to confess their love. Okay. Okay. I feel like, yeah, that's it, y'all. Get ready. This person is about to confess their love. So I will leave it there and I will see y'all in the next one. Ciao.